Hi, welcome to my system. This is a particular special system. It's an Arch Merch version with open box on it and just that. This video is going to be a storytelling video. <coughs> Linux Mint 18.3 is out. I want to install it on Arch Merch in Oracle Virtual Machine, Virtual Box. I want to configure my uh, Linux Mint 18.3 so it looks like the ultimate Linux Mint that I have on my GitHub, on Eric Dubois GitHub. I have already there a version 18.2 and I'm going to show you how to use GitHub, how I use GitHub and how I change scripts and how what you can do as well afterwards. So it's just a matter of copy paste and you have your own scripts available to make your Linux Mint beautiful. In the meantime, I'm going to test out my Sardi icons. I promised the Linux Mint community that I'll not forget them and I will not. So I'm going to test if Sardi and Surfing icons are OK on the Linux Mint distro on Cinnamon 18.3. And um, if all that's done and then we can cl conclude one video and then my story continues in Arch Merged. I'll show you how to make scripts for AMD-Cinnamon. So we're going to make a Cinnamon with the Nemo file manager on Arch Merge. So that's the second video. So without any delay, how do we proceed? Well, we typed in Linux Mint download, you went to the website, find that 18.3 Sylvia is out, clicked on the Cinnamon version 64 bits, and you should know that this one is the one from, uh, well, the mirror, the closest mirror for me, but also I think the one that's the main uh, system for Linux Mint. So I've got this ISO available. <coughs> Next up is how do we, how do we use, how do we set up our system? We begin with new. We say, okay, this is gonna be Linux Mint. And then we have here Ubuntu 64, so he knows already, and that is quite true, uh, it is based on Ubuntu. So just you know. Then we go for Linux, uh, next one, I mean, and then we have this RAM thing. This is the amount of RAM I have. It is in here somewhere, as you can see, that's the amount, and that's what I'm using now. So I'm gonna give half of my RAM to more or less five, six, doesn't matter really, but around six. I'm gonna give this to him, so I have plenty of uh, space left. I could do 50-50. It's all about, about testing out and, and see what you like, what you want, but I think six is, in this case, not 50-50, is good enough. I'm gonna create a hard disk, do next, and then here we decide how big it's gonna be. Usually take around 25 or something like that because the system always uses some space for a swap. I think it, it does. Uh, we got here the first time you install this thing, you see these, these strange uh, things here. How do we get rid of them again? Um, I don't want to see these. Voila. If you click on the details, then that's the thing you need to see. Be sure to be in here. Why? Because we have not finished. The settings have not been um, completely finished. So you get, get back in there. So these, we saw these three and then advanced. You can share a host to bidirectional so you can move things around via the clipboard or drag and drop. So this sounds about good. Let's see if that works. And then encryption, uh, not really necessary. That one is the one we set. Everything is okay. Let's not do this one, special OSs only. So we're going for a group and not AFI. Display, yep, 50-50. Okay, around 60 then. Just one monitor, enable 3D acceleration, not really necessary. Access to the 3D graphics capa capa capabilities available on the host. Okay, all right, fine. And everything is left as it is. What we need to do here in the storage, optical drive empty. I'm gonna go to my download and say, take the Linux Mint 18.364 bits. And now we're good to go and finally we can start, but it's opening up here, so second screen. 
Let's get rid of this by clicking do not show this message again. That's one thing. Let's maximize it. And then control right control F. So host, host means actually the right control on my keyboard. Do not show it again and switch again. Again, the thing, read it and then click away like so. And there we are, we are booting Linux Mint 18.3. We're running a software rendering. Okay, nice. Install Linux Mint. You could take a look at it already, but um, while well, the icons have not changed in the latest, in respect with the latest release, so you could check out that. But actually, with any distro, don't stay in the live ISO. It's really uh, the intention to install everything. So erase disk, install Linux Mint. Don't dual boot. Same exercise here same advice here that I give on Arch Merch just give the system all of it all right there we go so hi my name is Eric and I'm gonna log in automatically as I do not want to see the intro I believe I read somewhere the intro was changed and light DM was GDM, MDM, stuff like that. Don't recall what it was again, but I'll surely find a link to it somewhere. And well, that's interesting to have time shift available. That's good. Something we could add in Arch Merch as well. That's one of the reasons why I'm visiting Art, uh, Linux Mint now. We're gonna make an Arch Merch cinnamon. And if we find applications that you say oh that's interesting because this one we have that one on arch merge because i loved my uh, usb image writer which is actually called minstick um, i loved it so i have it also nearby on arch merge system reports is i think new let's have a look mm -hmm. great in order to help out people, base bin is there already. Now this time shift is something that uh, might be interesting for us to have. It's actually another program. R Sync is just an application. It's with all these things, if we see a nice uh, application, then we should always remember that behind there is just a, a, a program, a command, an application. R-Sync is just an application to sync elements from A to B in a fast and versatile and remote and local file copying tool. So um, that's it. Restart now. Pressing enter. There we go. Don't want to show this dialogue at startup anymore, but here it is forum, chat room, getting involved. Fine. And we can click this away. And here we are, we have now launched our system. This is Linux Mint. Ctrl Alt T is working, great. And um, NeoFetch is of course not installed. And ScreenFetch is not known. So these things you really need to sudo apt install, that's what it says. Let's see what happens. And we install it. Neofetch, it does not seem to know, but this already is giving you some information. What we're on, what time it is, it's November, not November, it's beginning December, uh, 6th, 7th December, and we 2017, and we have this version at this point in time with this kernel. We could have a later kernel at this point in time, but it's the 4.10, that's one, we'll figure out the kernels later. 
What's next? I've installed everything. I want to make an, uh, a new GitHub. So, fine. Or I install everything manually, like I just did in screen, um, the screen fetch thing. Or I go to my GitHub and I say, let's copy paste everything over and let's do that. So, I have here this GitHub. If you just Google it, GitHub Eric Dubois like so you find the github 91 after today 92 so um, let me sign in first voila i'm signed in and what do we have here we have here repositories 91 of them and if you go inside can we look in here i think we should look in here repositories yeah that's it and then ultimate so Ultimate Ubuntu, Linux Mint 18 and so on, elementary, lots of systems I visited, all for the study icons and some of them I visit regularly, that's why I keep the scripts around so I don't have to install everything again and test everything again. So these scripts are there for my ease, my comfort and this is the one we need today because this is the Ultimate Linux Mint 18.2 so I'm gonna take this one, Control C and I'm gonna clone this one like so and then the file manager I'm gonna say open a terminal anything can be cloned from the net just type in HTTPS well I shouldn't type Control shift V well just get my information from the internet and here it is let's move things where they should be and there should be in here in the data folder so the ultimate Linux Mint 18.2 cinnamon all I need to do now is make a new github there are tutorials on Eric Dubois there are tutorials on archmers.com how to make a github so first you get yourself your account and then uh, you go to your website uh, to your github uh, account and you can say here I want to have a new repository in this little button there I copy pasted the name I want to keep the same name the only thing that changes is the three so I'm gonna make ultimate Linux mint 18.3 cinnamon with you it's public so you can get it uh, anytime you want I'm just gonna go back to this one and then just remember that I should ultimate yeah you will see me do everything from A till Z uh, this is the text I want there as well so we're gonna change the settings is it in the settings no oh what happened here look at the name look at the strange name a bad copy paste that, that, that happened here so settings you see me doing these things all wrong that's okay so delete this repository this will be permanently deleted this one Control C, Control V, I understand, delete, it was a mistake. So that's the gun again. Let's make a new repository, this time with the correct name. So I do Control V, I should get rid of all that in the front. So Ultimate Linux Mint 18.3 Cinnamon, that's okay now. All right, now I've lost my text again. So I'm really making it difficult for me. Ultimate something automatic installation of all necessary that was the text that I wanted beneath there that's it that's all I wanted and now we have indeed ultimate Linux Mint 18.3 cinnamon and we copy paste this as well what you do now is go down here right mouse click here open terminal and get clone I clone something empty it's 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 empty and it says you so you appear to have cloned an empty repository yeah not if I copy paste my friend so what you do is you get everything from the old one Control C and I put it in the 18.3 like so and it's there of course I should re-edit some things like this one it's 8.3 Serena it's uh, Cinnamon and it's not Serena, what was the name again? 
Sylvia, I think it was scrolling up. Sylvia. So if you want to say the name, we can say it, but maybe this is enough. Ultimate Linux Mint 18.3 Cinnamon. And all these things have should be changed. So 18.3 Cinnamon. Let's see what else uh, is in there. 18.2. Voila, the version. Blah, 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 blah. I do not know what the version is of uh, Cinnamon. So we could check it out and see what the version is. You could ask the system Cinnamon, what version are you? 3.6.6 apparently. Okay, so 3.6.6. That's the version in 18.3. Okay. So we'll have to check if the team for Arcolora is still working and if we should uh, change the name to 3.6. But that's something we will do during the exercise, during the installation. 3.6.6. And we go through it and we see uh, what things do we have to change or to check if they still work or not. Playlist on YouTube for 8.2. That's probably correct, since I will not be making lots of tutorials for Linux Mint. Save. This is saved. Um, where is this saved? This is saved on my computer. Correct? This is saved on my computer. It needs to go to the internet. How does it go to the internet? There is this file that says set up git. You change it because it says in here that my name is Eric Dubois and the mail is Eric Dubois Gmail. It's not your address, it's not your name, it's not your email, so change it. Then, first time, if you do this the first time in your system, GitHub, then you run this thing and everything is set. Now, let's go and have a look here. Now I can refresh this ultimate Linux Mint 18.3, nothing there, okay? When I do now, like so, git version one, then I say a text, something you did, added conkey, uh, changed Firefox, deleted this, done that, you know, this is my first commit, so I say first commit, and then I'll pop in my, uh, my password, my login and my password, and there we go, let's press enter, and everything is now uploaded to the GitHub. Git push done. Let's have a look. Refresh. There you have the ultimate Linux Mint 18.3. Anybody can download it. Anybody can git clone it. And 32 seconds ago it was on there. So we need to refresh our photo. As you can see it's 18.2 Sonia in here. So we have to change that. So. Um, as of now, of course, it's not correct. Git. Is Git installed? Good question. I don't know. So does the new one, just 18.3, have Git available? No, it does not. So if you want to use GitHub and Git clone and all that, you need to sudo apt install git. And say go ahead and install this thing. Yes. There you go. Why do I need GitHub, a Git thing here. Well, remember this is our virtual box. We're working on Arch Merge. That's this one. I will change things in here. I push it to the cloud. Then we come to the virtual box and I pull it from there, from the cloud. That's what's going to happen. So I'm going to go to home gonna make a little directory called data so we have the same there and inside this data I'm gonna git clone something so open in terminal git clone https github.com Eric Dubois that's, that's how, how far I can go and then we have to look here that's what we need to type in ultimate Linux Mint 18.3 cinnamon Let's move it to the other screen so I can read it. So I don't need to think, don't think that capital letters are important for it, but so that's a trial for me. Linux 
means 18.3 dash cinnamon cloning now we make the typo otherwise we will not have that uh, request so if you make a typo and i think we just miss miss here in here a dash that's it so the copy paste the url that's the easiest thing to do but i'm in a virtual machine so i keep out of it uh, for now but we have here this ultimate linux mint 18.3 so what i'm gonna do now is see if this still works if these scripts on linux mint 18.2 work okay <coughs> let's go in here he wants to know do you want to read it or, or run it so i just want to display it at this point and see what's in there so what i do is say uh, install it yes without uh, questions anymore just install it and uh, and some winrar things and stuff like that zipping and unzipping um well, looks looks good no issues there i think let's have a look Ooh, that's the wrong button cancel so it's this button i need let's move this over here and let's press ctrl f to maximize you can have a right mouse click in here open a terminal and move that one there now we can go ahead and say run number one please while that's doing its its job let's have a look at our profile preferences if we can make it a bit nicer custom fonts I think a bit bigger might be better for us to see it on the YouTube channel later on colors I like transparency so now I see my logo of Linux Mint don't like the scroll bar and that's okay one thing I do not like and that's in here show menu bar by default in new terminal so this thing is gone next time I ask the terminal my Canon printer is in here and there's more software down there okay there's some personal stuff theming you should go and download from other githubs they have been moved it's better to keep them together and a separate github and there we go we have now number one that's done number two extra software is going to be installed what's in here it's actually going to run parts of your system it's going to run let's go ahead and look for some of them it's going to run this one you see here something popping up a few seconds later they will be gone again so it's going to install brackets it seems so it's number two that means that atom is already installed brackets is now installed and it moves down the list and it's in here so every every application has its own little script and it removes if it's available that's to keep it clean and wget get me the latest atom from there sudo package install everything and then delete the temporary file again so this is just a temp file which is also something you could take a look at and, and add it here and see things happening here you see installations popping up and going away and it's the same in arch merge um, probably on any eh? on any uh, linux system a temporary folder is used to install applications very often okay so he's going over the list that we've created there let's go here so he's going over this one i guess and let's try and figure it out here you see tmp sublime text so he's installing sublime text at this point in time already spotify i think of was variety that was uh, a variety of this that's um, moving along adobe flash plugin chrome codex ff mpeg extra and vivaldi snapshot so the latest one not the stable one but the vivaldi snapshot the latest and then he is fixing the icons so indeed still six icons to fix but 
no icons anymore from Linux Mint. So congratulations guys, your coding is now fixed. Then number three, install some themes. What's in here? He isn't going to install, I guess, the conkeys. The set, the extra, that's a lot of icons, 100 icons that are coming over. 100 uh, different, eh? I mean, not 100 icons, but really separate themes. Um, and then the Sardi, which is 20 or so. So together, I think it's 105, these two Sardi things. And on the surfing icons, the Arc theme, Arc Flatabulous. I wonder if this still works. Plank themes, Arc Colora themes, but 3.4. So let's have a look. How does Arc theme look on a cinnamon that's not 3.4 but 3.6? Will it work as well? Probably it will, but it, there might be some small issues. It still it depends what they do with cinnamon. Okay, so he's going to install on that. Let's see if we can change already some stuff. In the meantime, let's configure our Linux Mint a little bit. We use a custom icon, so yeah, we could use this one, that's a nice one. We could say, guys, we are very proud to work with Linux Mint 18.3 Cinnamon, like so. Now everybody knows when you make a screenshot what system you're on. In the meantime, this application has been uh, has stopped, so it's, everything is installed. And we take a look at the fourth one. That's a new mode Dropbox and Adobe Flash plugin. Let's see if that runs. So they're pointing to Sylvia. Okay. Let's have a look again. Hmm. Right. Okay. I see different kind of things. All right, let's make it, uh, like I said, a little changes here and there. So open the menu when I move, move over it. That's something you maybe like or dislike even. Uh, when you go in there, I don't have to click, it just opens up. Uh, menu hover, use menu animations menu categories show category icons so category icons yes or no application icons yes or no just put it off and check it out again and say okay i do not want that or you do want that so it's all up your uh, a choice and a decision you have to make it's in here auto scrolling i do like when it's up so you just go over it there is i think Budgie, I think it is, where you, it's not enabled by default, and I think it should, since first thing you do is check out all the applications and go over, and not click it, but just go over it, hover over it. So that's the menu that we changed a little bit. All right, what did we install? We installed a lot of things. Well, let's have a look. Accounts. Applets, we should take a look at that. Atom is installed, brackets is installed. Bulker name is actually from XFCE for Tunar, but um, since I, I like my thousand files to rename them to something specific, then it's a good thing to have the Bulker name. And the catfish is also coming from Tunar environment or the XFCE environment, which is a very interesting tool to find everything and also find inside a file. Clementine is our music deconf editor sometimes as in uh, you need to go into the configuration file, the database. And display driver manager effects, evolution is installed, extensions. So we're going over some applications. Synapse has been added, Redshift has been added, Peak has been added. Um, and variety has been added. Let's launch that one since I, I do like the icon and I uh, do like 
the wallpaper but like everyone else I like my wallpapers to change from time to time so I'm not gonna take the user share backgrounds but I'm gonna take the ones from desktopper Bing not interested Apple not interested Flickr not interested just the ones from desktopper are for me suitable and are okay so this one is okay I'm gonna tell them to download every minute a wallpaper so we'll have nice wallpapers coming in in this video and that's it that's it now there's something else I often do is this one or big at least 80% of the screen resolution so I don't get these awful pictures so that's gonna change from time to time that said um, what I normally do is first to also this thing so this is our updater every uh, Linux system has some kind of updater do it via graphics do it via, via terminal it's all the same uh, this is GUI graphic user interface for the thing in, in the terminal but it gives us some more information just keep my computer safe recommended for most user or experienced user so I'll just keep with most users and what happens is that this little program, the Mint Upgrade Info, or the Mint Update, normally this is something else, this is the upgrade, um, he'll need to update from time to time. So the, up, the program that needs, that does the updates, needs an update. And in this case, it's an upgrade. Anyway, this is the normal selection of what you normally see. Do you want to update Firefox and Mint Backup and Mint Install? That's the program that we're using. Uh, let's have a look if it's this called mint update is this thing called this is something else this mint install software manager mint report troubleshooting tool so some of the things you'll recognize just go over them and say okay go ahead you can do it we will we'll do this later on the Linux do you want to switch to the little local part of well, yeah why not so you can get the service in your neighborhood in the hopes of course that these selections will be better so we have to wait a little bit every server is going to be checked and of course you don't want to work with a speed of 1.7 kilobytes per second hopefully not otherwise i'll cancel what is this this can't be true this is 30 years back we're going in speed so uh-uh cancel how about that one okay there's something very strange so let's keep everything as it is <laughs> we're not gonna go to uh, but we're gonna update anyway that's something we are going to do and hopefully it's not gonna be very slow but no of course not everything is going very fast almost downloaded And like I said, every GUI in the backend is actually just something that happens in your terminal. So it pays off to check and to do some of the work in the terminal to get acquainted with it and um, not to fear it actually because it's just, well, where everything happens. That's in the terminal. okay that's almost done let's make our system nicer I don't want to see this question anymore there is also a possibility to do that where is it again preferences uh, don't suggest to switch to a local mirror so I don't see it anymore you can have this one updated and that one updated I'm gonna keep it as it is now and go ahead with my preferences and then appearance the themes I'm gonna take that one and put it up here because I'm gonna need it a lot of times and I want to make our system nicer so we have here all these arc themes that we have we have them available as well in Arch Merch it's just a script that changes the arc 
called the arc theme from horse 3180 to um, another color so blue to uh, like for instance this one pink and we have a lot of icons why not go all pink so here's a pink one and here's a pink one and what happens everything goes pink why pink because of the flower uh, reddish pink um, just an idea here these all look the same that's because of the pngs uh, that are there it's it's um, not changed in arc theme from horst so we can't change it either so we need to go to the name itself so fully dark is the one we need and now we have everything here this little pink that's the arc theme that's the pink color everywhere you go you'll have this pink following you around and it's okay there's a little bit difference in the icons why not have a little bit uh, of freedom there I did install the breeze snow I do like my uh, cursor to be that one and in Linux Mint the desktop here so this element in your system you can change that as well and go to well, let's go for Mandy Dark Mandy Dark is this one and we have now a system that looks like this so in a few clicks you can have a completely different looking um, Linux Mint but it is still of course Linux Mint um, sure something went wrong great okay <laughs> never mind <laughs> they'll fix it and uh, we have here now um, a system that is already a little bit changed did we or do we have or can we have can we say that this ultimate Linux Mint 18.3 is okay is this working if we have to go over everything let's have a look if we should oh that's ugly that's a good thing that this happens so you go in tools no preferences somewhere preferences font and colors much better to read for you guys and this is what we have let's scroll it and make it a little bit bigger with control pressed and then scroll your mouse you can see a lot better there are programs in there that are very nice let's pick some out and see if they're installed this is glances if we minimize this one and minimize that one and maximize that one this is glances everything that's happening on your computer CPU 2.9 cinnamon replace okay Close the terminal, thank you. Uh, the plank, we did not run the plank, let's install the plank. This is the plank. Where is the plank, Eric? I don't see it. It's down here. So, control, right mouse click, preferences, move it to the top, better. A little bit of life in there. What's life? This is life. Without it, no life. Is there a theme? Well, yeah, we have a few themes there. It's not standard. It's because of our ULM, our script has installed about 70. That's a nice one. About 70. It's Arc, of course. About 70 uh, themes for the blank. So you just go ahead and select the one you like. If you want something to keep to keep it in your dock, just click right mouse click and say keep in dock. That's there. Anything else? that's nice radio trace music Thunar is installed as well <coughs> that's a bit strange you might think um, well it is strange it's not strange catfish and um, the renamer bulk renamer are both dependent on Thunar so that's why it's in here but we'll probably never see it because when you click here it's not Thunar at all it's gonna be Nemo so how do we fix or fix is a big word how do we change Nemo we have here preferences you can take a look what you want as uh, settings for the view they're okay for me behavior double click to open items okay display order format if you want another format it's li indeed a little bit long like always a full path in the title bar and the tab bar so I know where I'm at 
and then what columns do you want to see if you like to see it in octal permissions you can do so show thumbnails only for f files smaller than four gigabytes so i guess you'll see everything <laughs> and this is one i always do is just click everything and see what pops up on your system see what you like what you don't like all these things have been added and this one in particular i like because it's gonna make a terminal open huh? so this is a new terminal now and we have this screen fetch that we installed earlier on and my font is bigger voila and everything looks a bit better we know that we use arc mandi dark the savvy flat color charisma and so on all the information is there just saw the fonts that's something we should check as well the fonts so this is number one in here let's go ahead later for number two but first our fonts can we make the letters bigger of course we can make the letters bigger the question is where so have a look at mm -hmm. I don't think it's in teams i'm gonna check anyway it's been a while since i've been in linux mint so that's good nope you're gonna give me an error anyway so here we have the system settings it's in here here's the fonts default font is 9 i do have glasses to read so i need a little bit bigger thank you very much so there you go i'll just increase everyone with just one that will make it easier for me and this one i increased with two so no no it's better so i'm gonna keep this one you'll see it uh, better as well on youtube you can do some text scaling scaling factor here as well to make sure you get the best possible picture the backgrounds are the ones from linux mint not the ones coming from here so let's go ahead and go to our wallpaper selector every minute Ida is going to download something uh, let's go ahead and try that again now ah, something is wrong with this program indeed so what do you do you quit and you start again He's not inclined to open his gallery uh, because there are no more wallpapers that's probably why too bad so i guess he's still downloading let's check the preferences again so he's trying to get them from one no oh we are on virtual box no we should get in inside there's no problem actually don't think that's a problem of an issue being in virtual box on other systems it worked well let's wait maybe some wallpapers come in later so we were going to the fonts the fonts we've done that mm -hmm. display atom brackets google chrome g radio neofetch ah, neofetch is something we failed last time because it was not installed well, there it is I'm wondering we just decided to have gtop in apt install gtop in arch merge uh, unable to locate the package gtop okay it does not exist here redshift works simple screen recorder Spotify is installed yep okay uh, team viewer is not installed because of the hashtag with all these installed okay i saw it and then the themes display conkeys let's install a conkey where are the conkeys the conkeys are hidden away control h we have the folder which is called aureola so this is the headquarters of the conkeys meaning it's not from where they are run it's from where they start you decide to have acres you check out what is acres it looks like that 
and then you say I want to have it and with a button up here or right mouse click you go ahead and see what do we have as a program to install and that's this one that's an executable one install conky that's all you need to do every time again in every folder install conky and it says hey the font is not installed you want to install it yes install it it's going to be installed and loaded and it wants to install some extra applications which is notably dmi decode uh, also lm sensors and what else i suppose conky as well or is it was it installed anyway everything seems to work it's in there and that's how you proceed in every every of those folders is a separate um, conky you check it out in the images what kind of conky it is what it does and what you can do as well is what was i thinking oh yeah if you go to eric and then inside the dot config you'll get this folder that's actually the folder where the conky comes from so if you're working on here and you say this aureola icris it's too small or i don't like it i want to delete it so you have to look for the code which is this one conky conf open it let's maximize it a bit and then see if we can move it like so get rid of that so this is our conky to the right to the left our code to change the conky if you want to change colors it's in here by the way do we have a gpeg yeah we do have gpeg so you can say i want to have it this kind of color and that kind of color is apricot white uh, that's a good idea maybe do let's do that so apricot white i would like to change the gray the gray is just a bit too gray question is of course what is this gray i think it's this one i think it's that one that's a guess a gamble that's fun and there we go it's that one all right is that one i wanted to change but all the grays it seems and that's also the aa or the cc or the bd everything that's the same all the time rgb everything that's the repetitive then it's gray some kind of gray okay so we have now this uh look i don't like this red all at all this this red thing it's a little bit strange what if we deleted that red and changed it in the same color how would that look that looks a little bit better Voila. enough about the conky so we have now a conky you know it's in the dot config conky this is where you add change this icon you can change to any icon you want any uh, as you can see any distro you want it's or whatever you choose it's a choice in life choose your best possible linux that is uh, suitable for you that's your thing to do what else that goes away so the sardi the sardi icons there are a lot of sardis now available let's switch to one of them we have here this theme up here so as you can see let's scroll all the way down this is our choices of icons today we have the sardi icons around 20 versions and then we have well scripts we can change anything you like anything you see almost can be changed anything with the word flexible and any with the world anything with the word colora can be changed with scripts if you want to this blue to be that blue that's just what happened i just said this blue should be that blue and then you get a new one and a new one and a new one and a new one you know that's the only thing we did there's also sadly goes flexible let's have a look if that's working fine it's working great on linux mint but we do have problems in arch merge we'll we'll figure them out why it does that but uh, we can choose anything we like here sardi flat colora edge water it's all up to us to, to choose for instance i was making i think it's this one no not that one here this one vampire i had this um, 
theming going on with a black uh, red vampire wallpaper and I said let's make a, a color theme that's suitable for our wallpaper so an arc theme in grey the icons here all red uh, and so on so it can be fun to script a little bit on these study icons and have a completely themed and tweaked system and you can check those out on ericdubois.be a lot of tutorials there about um, Sardi because Sardi is flexible and modular I can say to Sardi use those apps and use those um, folders and there you go we have another theme created all by yourself so it's all up to you to figure out what you like and see for instance to have a surfing it's another kind of theme it's not circular it does not have a shadow it's all free anything goes these icons are available as well okay I was just thinking on um, yeah might be also a good thing to include it here as well let's let's keep going and checking what um, what's in here already I have an idea to make a new script but first this do we have Arc Flatabulous theme? Is that still working? Arc Flatabulous Dark. Those little ball, um, you said circles up there. Yep, it's still working. No problems, no issues there. So that's good. We can move here as well or not. Arc Flatabulous Dark. Yep. Okay, check. And another one. Dark. So it's still the blue color from Horst. As you can see when you go into these text here, all blue. Oh. And there you go, we have now Arc for Tablets Dark, which is that one. Plank themes, we've seen it. Arc Colora, we've seen it. Hmm. Mint, white Colora, we did not check that one. So the same goes for the mint, it's also from Horst. Uh, let's go all or uh, red this time. Mint, white, dark, crimson. I'll scroll down mint y dark crimson check okay that's black mint y dark crimson so this is now a new look a different kind of look still okay everything looks normal to me it's a little bit pink when you exit here that's a bit strange I don't know if that's normal but it is like it is so that's done as well we've checked that the breeze cursor it's active plank themes all right we've done this one this is number three and i close it up where's number four install i ah, that was the the two things there that's not so important the nemo drawbox and all that so you can install Dropbox just a matter of pressing enter login and there you go you have this system uh, you have a Dropbox you can have also in sync and in sync is for Google Drive but it's uh, not free you have to pay for it not much so consider it um, let's go in here let's see what we still have to do so backgrounds do we have images already in? No, still not necessary. It doesn't want to switch. That's strange. Well, you check it out on a real SSD. What happens? Close it up again. Effects, I keep everything as is, but you can customize it. You can say, no, I don't want this, I want that, and so on. Don't want that, you can do it as well. Or just drop down. I've tested them. Uh, on the previous version but I'm not the kind of effect guy so you check it out and see what effects you like and what you don't like themes we've seen that uh, pop up is going to load a lot of stuff so that's why it takes a little bit longer <laughs> accessibility don't do anything here I guess but if you wanted to you can applets it's always uh, a question if applets are um, included in Arch Merch. We'll see if we can include some of them and what is included already because these are applets down there. 
they have been installed already some of them installed applets so we'll see what uh, happens there but here you can just say uh, elements you want to move or add so this is our main menu main cinnamon menu the network manager is that thing down there and so on notifications yeah. power manager scale and a lot of things you can download your cache is out to date let's try again uh, 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 uh. that's something you will have to google for yourself why that it does that if it happens on your system as well date and time display the date okay the seconds not really first day of the month that's actually Monday but I suppose locale will do it desklets clock desklet we can add it and there we have it moving it let's try with control yeah control works so we have now a clock we could post somewhere in the middle here like so photo frame launch your desktop download that's my problem I'll always have so I cannot show you that desktop is something I would like to go for like this no icons okay extensions probably the same problem because once you want to download he is going to do the same thing so that's not not okay not done hot corners I used to work with that but then at some point I said no nah, let's not do it it's all a choice it's up to you guys to see what you want languages sometimes when you install in languages you need to apply a system wide uh, locale because uh, little things like the calendar is not in, in Dutch then or some some of these smaller things and then you have to come in here and say look I want everything to be like German Belgium we're not German Belgium here we're Flemish Belgium but okay so you have to fix that that's not a biggie that's okay notifications online accounts if you want to add them uh, let's have a look down scroll down mm -hmm. okay panel that's your panel add a new panel always show the panel okay Referred applications is something you'd like to see. Open file or Tunar, in my case, maybe. You want to have Vivaldi, Snapshot as web, Thunderbird, Geary, or Evolution. LibreOffice Writer, plain text goes in Sublime Text. Media Player goes in VLC. Video goes in VLC. Just I'm just clicking, guys. Don't comment on that. It's just choose whatever you want it's all good for me okay voila we've changed some things around and then uh, well privacy screen savers never use those but if you want to start applications uh, I was thinking about plank the other time of the day uh, plank will probably not execute on its own you'll have to add it add co choose your application type plnk say plank say add application and here it is so now it will be auto started next time the conky that's something i took care in the aureola aureola collection so it's copy pasted to the dot config auto start uh, folder so that's why it says here staff conky so it's it's there so the conky will be there when you reboot so that's interesting to know that you need to add stuff there start up applications windows if you like to change the behavior here the titles what you want to have uh, up there left side and right side okay i do like my toggle maximize action on title bar so this double click i do use it all the time that's okay 
uh, if you want to change those views, cover flow RD, it's nice, but uh, okay, you know. This is something I do as well, I think. Maximize instead of time and dragging. Around. So if you do this and you move it up here, it's half. And I dislike it with 100%. So I do this here. Maximize instead of tile and dragging window to the top edge. When I put it up here, I just want it to be bam, full image. And that's a, a little option in here. Still not standard. It's okay, we know where it is. Bluetooth, I'll have to check my uh, Bluetooth headphone if it's that's working, but we're on virtual box, so no can do at the moment. Display. Okay. Ah, I can't get can't get out of it because of the arrow that's behind it. Graphics tab, I don't, keyboards, maybe you need to ha add some more shortcuts. So Ctrl Alt T is there. I don't know, print screen is there. Yeah, it is there. We have something here. Save. We have a picture. Control print screen. Uh, I don't know if something happens now. We should check our files in pictures. There's just one. So control print screen does nothing. So we can add custom shortcuts here. Okay, or the layout there Bluetooth comes up. Mouse and touchpads, smaller. Well, I'm not on the on the laptop, so strange that it does provide options for it. But it's good to see. So here we have some information, scrolling, pointer, pointer speed, stuff we can add and change. Network stuff. We are on VirtualBox, so okay power options, printers, sound, system info driver manager is also interesting to take a look normally everything works out of the box but when he finds something, a particular hardware piece on your system and he has information, he has an, um, a proprietary driver or a better driver for it he'll say, look you can install that one rather than having um, the version from open source or in this case I think it's uh, the one from Intel itself so great you can install it or not so it's up to you to see if you can improve your system with your with this driver manager there's a firewall installed mm -hmm. and we have a login menu or window We have this image and the background color, GTK theme, icon theme. So here you can change to your theme, arc darker, arc flatabulous dark. If you say I want to have that one, I don't want. Uh, we can't actually click on anything else but these guys. So yeah, that's our uh, limitation then. Uh, users settings HIDPI. So auto enable disable. Great, they've been thinking about the future as well. Software sources, where do we get everything from? Oh. So, hola, I'm doing it again. So, official repositories, the PPAs. I've added a lot of PPAs in these scripts simple screen recorder, NeoFetch, the variety stuff. Uh, Spotify is here as well, somewhere. Vivaldi. Uh, additional repos, uh, authentication keys for Martin, Variety, Spotify, and the maintenance. Alright, so <coughs> I guess we are um, where we need to be. Gonna try again. There are already no more wallpapers. It's strange. It doesn't find anything here. So just to try it on SSD. Anyway, I do st see still that we have some updates to do. Let's do them as well. Refresh. Let's do that first. And then see what we have. All right, everything the same. Install the updates, please. We are on virtual machine. What can go wrong? And if anything goes wrong, who cares?
let's pause a bit okay everything installed just fine it says your system is up to date and I'm gonna check if it is because it's a new kernel and I have a reflex and I see there's a new kernel in I reboot whether it's necessary or not I get a better feeling with it and a better experience with it so yeah I can only recommend that when you see a kernel that you just reboot and see that everything works because your kernel is after all very important let's have a look this is our new Linux Mint system we have our plank our conkey and our little desklet is there this is uh, video hardware so the message from uh, cinnamon telling hey your virtual box uh, will do our best but actually we can improve it if you're on a system on an SSD system or something like that uh, and obviously well that's it um, what else can we do it's not yet finished we have already a beautiful system it is it is it looks awesome uh, so congratulations Linux Mint it's a beautiful thing here but we have forgotten to install or to check on this folder so what we did now is we install more or less what's in here we did not get the latest stable version it's probably a very old one already so I'll have to check uh, to have a better version uh, but we installed a lot of things themes and flank themes we did not install that one I think in that one no not that one snapshot is installed virtual box is not installed I guess installing virtual box on virtual box uh -huh. variety is installed team viewer was hashtagged out and so on so these things have been installed what not that's another website of the theming personal has not been installed more software has not been installed and you check out what these things are there are nice things in there new mix icons uh, stacer to I don't know how how to compare it's kind of C cleaner thing on um, on, on Linux uh, and so on you just check it out what this is what I'm gonna do not install my printer that's very personal but let's go and check what's in here as well so personal stuff what is that this personal stuff why is Eric doing that if you choose number 600 you don't see anything but something happened all right what did happen it's going to create it's going to create if the folder icons for Ali, check check the directory icons if it exists don't do nothing but if it does not exist then you make the directory icons why do I create the directory dot icons that's because we want that um, if you want to experiment you find something on, on free desktop org or, or all these sites of icons and themes you don't install them right away in user share themes or user share icons test them out on your first first on your home folder and you, when you like it yeah, then maybe you can move it to the, the user share folder but not in the beginning in the beginning you just test it out here and all these elements all these things have been created desktop documents um, just checking uh, make it automatically for me rather than me making everything uh, manually that's the thing I don't want to do manual work every time what's the 605 let's run it what happens all of these things come here all elements all bookmarks that's what it is a bookmark the bookmarks at this point in time do not exist why because I did not copy paste or git clone because this is actually a git clone so they are now not working i3 is not installed the Linux Mint so it's this little icon telling it does not exist but often these things just do exist and it's uh, checking out who is in opt so slash opt or optional or option or something um, there you see that a lot of lot uh, for but on Arch Merge there are more a lot of um, applications go hide their uh, source their, their coding there so that's where they are hiding so to speak what else let's move back and voila 610 personal settings of the keyboard okay 
What's this? He asks your password. That means something has to be installed, and it's going to be this one, dconf, cli, etc. Keyboards. We saw something about keyboards. Custom shortcuts. Hola. Eric has made some more shortcuts. Control Shift Escape. You guys from Windows know what I mean. Control Shift Escape is this one. It's on our fingers. So why not just put it in there? So Control Shift Escape is there. Trash the wallpaper. Give me a next wallpaper. Alt N. Alt N is going to give me a next wallpaper. But I have problems with my wallpaper. Gnome Terminal is Super Return. Super Return. Oh yeah, it works. Super shift return. Ah, oh, that's the Nemo. Yeah. So all these shortcuts are present. Those are the shortcuts that I use on Arch Merge, that I use on Linux Mint, I use on i3, that I use on Budgie, that and so on and so on. So my shortcuts are there. GIMP, Super F4. Super F4. GIMP, we start with GIMP. It's that easy. Why look for and uh, a menu like so click here what i do i think i probably just type it ahead rather than trying to figure out where was it again is it was it internet was it graphics was it was it what ah, there it is so I'd rather type it so just click on the menu start typing enter go Inst and that's done so that's all the keyboards these are in here if you want to check out the code how i did it just open it up it says okay he need to do this and go there so it's in here the settings and then and so on and so on you go look and check what's uh, how it's done sometimes i want to take screenshots in not in png but for my website they need to be in gpg so that's settled now they will be in gpg that's something for GIMP, some uh, things I use in GIMP. The settings for my Sublime text. The settings for personal settings variety. Maybe this will help, who knows. Some of my personal settings I use for variety. And we can check it out again, quit again. Let's see if quitting and a new config will help things along. No. Oh, something happened. No, no. Not working. And then what else? Personal settings themes. What's this? I totally forgot. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, I'm not going to do that. That's what is this? That is the configuration I want to set. So. We have chosen our configuration, this is our look, and uh, this is going to override it with something else. Dropbox fix icon, not necessary if this is still necessary, so let's have a look. Display, what it's going to do. Ah yeah, I know what, what this was again. So when you run the Dropbox and say blah blah blah, OK. And you get this icon down here. Voila, it's not necessary, right? Continue, continue. The icon is nice. It used to be this blue thing, and this blue thing um, amongst all these white icons was ugly. So that's why we had to fix. So no need for this fix anymore, I guess. Um, just keeping it in just in case genie personal settings for genie that's something i saw that was not nice so enter what's genie going to do genie 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 well a lot of color schemes are going in genie let's have a look there you go we have already a black background and that's how i like it dark theme so it was white a few minutes ago and that's now settled so that was genie root not sure if i want to change anything in my root so i'm gonna check what's in root 
where are you don't see it here so what is he doing nothing okay good just in case it's there if I ever I wanted to and then the dark themes first open Firefox that's the issue when you have uh, whoa what's all this and then you have an issue that um, when you open Firefox and YouTube and have a dark theme you can't click into these input boxes but when you run 700 everything is fine and then you can open and read these um, input boxes so that's that um, what else everything is installed there were no issues there's no problem I don't need to update any arc themes min team looks good all the icons are looking good uh, good question Eric all the icons are looking good are you really sure to test and to help me guys if at some point in time you find out that there is an icon missing or there is something not looking as it should be what I always do there's two things you can take a Sardi Mono or you can take the Sardi Flexible Sardi Flexible means everything is blue as you can see everything is blue and if some icon pops out that's not blue then you know you need to contact me on github or via mail this is one I need to fix system reports so one icon to fix how do I do that I need to find this thing system reports as indeed a new program so new icon file system go up go to the user share icons just start typing share icons enter and um, oh sorry <laughs> I'm so used to go there user share applications of course and then we need to find a program that's not looking the way it should be that's uh, another one but we don't see it so it doesn't bother us but system reports is the one we need to open with just open I guess no I actually want to huh. okay nice it crashed now we get this little message so a text editor actually wanted to open with sublime text so I'm gonna look for it sublime text set as default ah. <laughs> because it's default I can't open it with this is the ugly look let's fix the ugly look preferences theme I guess theme default active done okay control scroll all the way down the icon I have to make is mint report so mint report is the name uh, on which uh, of the new icon should be named mint report that's what I need to do let me write that down okay that's on my to-do list and what else there was someone something else I wanted to check out so file system user share applications if we're doing it let's do it right this was a thing what's this portal let's double click it nothing happens open with text editor execute use ellipses get it as well as vertical okay probably gonna make some uh, icons some xtg no anyway if we type portal in here come on my friend portal okay no issue there xdg no issue there so it's a uh, non-issue we don't need to make an icon for it never pops up in our menu this one is not an issue either but if you do want to change it you can change it manually then um, and what's this plus strange I want to open this with sublime text and it is already a set as default that's why I can't get in so I should set something else as default and <laughs> okay and then say open with sublime text which is a bit strange to do 
So if we have here this thing here, get rid of all that, and we have Python, that's probably enough to have a little nice beautiful icon. But like I said, it's it's useless work because it's it's okay. Uh, we won't see it anyway, so whether you change it or not, it's not on your system. It's not there. If you want to change it right away, as in today, you can do as well. So if this thing here says mint report, what could we do? What could we do? We could go to user share icons. And we have the Sardi icons that are not here in Arch Merch, they are here in, in, in Linux Mint. We need to go to, and it's not there, I see in bookmarks. Linux Mint, we need to go to the icons. So I'm going to put that one here, like so. Here are all the icons. So it's easy to delete, just control A and delete. But but we need we need to find an icon that's in has something to do with port. Yeah. Let's see. And a lot of icons there. Uh, let's make it look like this. That's one of the reasons why I like Nemo. This does not happen in Tuna, you can't do it in Tuna. That's one of the reasons why I have to use it. That's uh, that's something. That's uh, actually already an, an an icon for it. So we have a name, Mint Report, I think it was, uh, and we have another icon, and this icon is pointing to somewhere else. They're all links. There are links, as you can see. That's a link. Um, okay. So what we need to do, know is where is it linking to? It's linking to bug buddy. Okay, control C. What if I look for bug buddy? Then I get all the icons with that name and it is still a link. It links to image. It says type link to image. So this is not the original one. Properties, it links to kbuckster. <laughs> Okay, that's how I need to work. So this is really an inside story. It was storytelling, so there you go. That's how I do things. Now we're actually at the original one. The K-Buckster is an original icon. There is no link. So what I need to do now is make a new link to this kbuckster.svg. So let's keep this open. Right mouse click will not do the trick, I guess. No, we need to have a new Nemo version. Can we do that? Yep, we can. So we need to go inside. So what are we doing? We are going to fix the icon that's now uh, not following the icon set of Sadi. So applications, so this one is not following what it should be. Yeah. What we could do is first off edit, open up, so we know again what the name is. So mint report, check, mint report. We're not going to change it, mint report. What we are going to do is going inside, inside mint report, it sends that as well. We are going to inside in here. We have this Sardi flexible open. That's our Sardi flexible golden no arc no. That's the that's the color we've chosen. This the icon theme we've chosen. What we need to do is to go to scalable, go to apps, and in there is this K box thing. What was the name again? Oh, it's gone. So. Just start, uh, wait, we're on the wrong one here. Now I have two the same open. No, I have this one open, I have that one open. Okay, so here we're gonna look for K Buck something, I forgot the name already, K Buster. Okay, so K Buster is the thing that's gonna be our icon. Okay, 
So now I have to tell what I have to do on Sardi later on on another system yeah, is tell him make a link make a link to a symbolic one to k buster so first where it's going to point to that's the the one that exists the icon that exists is k buster dot svg and then the other one is called mint report dot svg enter Nothing happens. Yeah, something did happen, and we can check it by typing mint report. Where is it? Scrolling down one bit. Here it is. So we've made a link to an icon, and it gives us this icon. Does this happen anything here then? Does it change anything here? We should change this one. User share. Uh, applications the mint report should should change if we've done it right so let's check again mint report icon is mint report we've changed it in the flexible we must have done something wrong or selected something wrong so we're gonna recheck sadly flexible scalable apps one thing we did not do one thing we did not do is make a new icon theme cache we forgot to do that so it's going to figure out it's going to find icon themes from somewhere else icons from from eh? from the past so i say create a new one this one is now renewed and we'll have a look again and here you see system reports is now null looking as it should be is it looking here as well as it should be? We scroll down and every little icon should be now a little bluer. Let's go over them in detail so that we don't forget any of the icons. I do want to give a full service for the Linux bin guys. No, it's gone. It's gone all right. So it's um, system reports, this one, this little bug here. And everything looks great the only thing i have to do is is do it in six themes uh, you know the six main themes i'll explain to eric the portal pe i do have to do make a link six times and then update and you have it too what else can we include in our tutorial this is really gone on going on uh, for a long time but i think i hope it's interesting uh, anyway, or <laughs> well, normally I would say we'll change, we change something and we put it back on, on the GitHub, but we haven't, there's no opportunity to do, to do this. Everything is working as, uh, as it should. There's no need to change anything. The only thing we might do is say, okay, this is suitable for 3.6. There is no problem without uh, uh, sentiment 3.4 or 3.6, doesn't really matter. Here it is okay the themes look okay so that's a thing we could change and we're gonna change that one as well and all the rest so if you want to push this to the net what you do you open a terminal and all you have to do is say git and then you say uh, I changed the cinnamon 3.4 to 3.6 and that's what I did um, yeah we do need to stop everything close terminal stop everything what we first need to do is set up our git since we're on a virtual machine I have to tell them who I am so if that's not the case if you're not Eric Dubois and you don't have this email you should change it but if you are you can run it so set up that's what I forgot to do and now let's go for same procedure git version 1 and then you can tell cinnamon 3.4 to 3.6 so I know in the, in the future what's uh, changed let me log in and let's press enter so there you go everything is now online you can see it in our page up here 
let's move it to here and we have here uh, let's check out 3.4 3.4 reload 3.6 3.6 44 seconds ago so we're already talking more than an hour i guess what else is there to do there is this latest stable version for the kernel if you run it i see that you have here kernels uh, and i've made variables kernel one and kernel one is this thing so let's copy paste this Control c let's use the internet of our system here google chrome okay And there we go. Oh yeah, we have again this image here. Let's go ahead to the website. And then we have to decide what were we talking about. We were talking about, let's see the text text is we can't see the text the latest stable one so we don't take the new one we take the 4.9 and 38 is the one there 48 for 9 and so on let's scroll down all the way down well too far 4.9 4.10 so we are really lagging behind saucy let's scroll all the way down and see what the others give here 4.14 15 risk that's RC's risk candidate number one so you know it's not um, Not sure what to take here, so I better not say anything. Is this now happening? Really? Really? This is Variety kicking in for some reason. He is there. I don't know why. As you can see. <laughs> Suddenly he's there. For some reason. Strange. But I did copy over my own preferences. Maybe it was something that uh, changed it. I don't know. I'd rather not do this thing here. Ever if something is wrong, then this tutorial is, is void. So do check out first. This is the URL. What you want to include for, um, for link. Um, but um, there's a better way, actually, to install kernels. And that's in here. So view. Linux kernels. That's um, the, my way is the manual way, you know. Every, it can be done on any system like that. But in here we can have our own way of just saying I want to try out the dead kernel or that kernel. Maybe that will fix my system in the case of hardware malfunctions, failures or something like that. And say let's give a try and see if a newer kernel will do the trick. And you just click install. That's it. So maybe i better show you this than this uh, manual kind of thing because you do need to know uh, what thing should i install and that's the problem so that's that i'm gonna i'm gonna delete these two i'm gonna delete these two so what i'm gonna do is push it back up and say okay push it back and then delete it the kernel scripts okay 
So delete it. It's no longer there. It's still there in version 18.2, 18.1, if you want to check it out. Not longer in 18.3. That's how we work. Okay. There was this other thing I was thinking about, and we have in Arch Merch, we discovered uh, Alejandro's um, Halo um, icons. And why do I open now this browser? We have a browser open, no? No, it's closed already. We have this internet Google Chrome thing open a few moments ago. When you go for Hello Icons GitHub, let's see what we get. So on Arch Merch, we have these Hello Icons that are ready for you to use. What you do, you just, well, you know Git clone now. Why not Git clone rather than download zip? But download zip will work as well. And we did not show the download zip, so let's do this because you know git clone already. Show in a folder, right mouse click and pack this thing, extract here, and that's why you need to have a dot icons folders, and that's why these personal folders are creating it for you. Okay, these things are the ones you need. All the rest can be deleted, but just leave it there. Copy paste these two folders in here. Here are the two folders, and now we have a new icon theme. And the icon theme can be selected in here. You'll be surprised. And we go for new icons. All the way up. Hello. Hello, icons. So these are the hello icons. Maybe we should also take a bluish kind of uh, look for it. So polo darker maybe. Uh, and here arc polo darker as well. Of dark. And you know I don't like too bright. So arc polo dark. Like so. And the same here. Arc polo dark. So now we have bluish here and a bluish there, and, and we have other blue uh, versions as well. You can keep with the arc theme as well. It's going to be your choice. But what do we have? We have now this kind of look. These are the icons today with the hello icons. This is the look here. This looks nice. That's great. This is a little bit dark. It's okay icons down here let's go to all applications and let's scroll over the icons effects is a special one it's looking super nice and why is that because we installed also the surfing icon so if anything is missing in the hello icons or the halo icons and we don't know don't know how to pronounce it but if there's not Icons are coming from Surfing, so that's our fallback, and that's why it looks like this. All right, so that's an extra that nobody has seen before. These are the Halo icons on Linux Mint, and they look just nice. I do believe we're coming to the end. Next up is for me to make a cinnamon on Arch Merch and give a similar feeling to the Arch Linux guys. All right, enjoy your Linux Mint, and um, there is one icon that will be fixed, and soon there'll be an update on SourceWatch. Cheers.